Welcome back to Good Day Sacramento and welcome to MTV Cribs, except Pioneer Edition. So this morning we're taking a step back in time through history. We're in Folsom learning a little bit about Folsom history. So I guess it's time to clean up my uh, miner's cabin just a little bit. Oh, oh no. I forgot about this. I forgot to take this out yesterday. Hold on, give me one second. Okay, Ugh. I forgot. We lost a family member yesterday. That's right. So, Folsom history. Sometimes truth is stranger than fiction. So why not check out a haunted house that incorporates a little bit of both? So I'm joined here with Zachary. Good morning. Morning. Hi. So tell us a little bit about this is one of the scenes that you guys have as part of your haunt opening this weekend. Tell us about this situation we've got here. Unfortunate day for this guy. Yeah, definitely unfortunate. Uh, but in 1850, there was a cholera outbreak in Sacramento. So about 10% of the population died. It was a really bad sickness. People were just bleeding out their guts. Uh, and so we kind of recreated that situation here. Uh, we'll have a scare actor standing here scaring people as they're dragging the body out. Uh, but it was just not a fun experience for anyone in Sacramento County at all. So this is one of the many not so fun and borderline creepy, scary stories that happened here in Folsom. So let's actually take a walk and chat a little bit about some of the haunts that people will be able to learn about. So on top of this miner's cabin, what else do we have? We have a prison outbreak that actually happened at Folsom Prison. So we'll have some scary prisoners running around maybe chasing you around the corner here. Uh, and then in the caboose here, we'll have a brakeman uh, screaming out that the train's on fire uh, and uh, some miners arguing over gold. Okay, so on top of having a little bit of history, we are gonna throw in a little bit of creepy, a little bit of crawly because, all right, it is dinner time. So I'm gonna ring my dinner bell as they once had. <laughs> And then it's time for a little bit of dinner. So we've got feet, heart, and hands for dinner today. Yeah, it's definitely a human stew right there. But as far as we know, that didn't happen in Folsom, but oh. it's something just to kind of add to the ambience here. Hey, you don't have record that that happened in Folsom. Yeah, we definitely don't have record of it happening here. Okay, so this haunted house, folks will be able to check out this Saturday. And okay, wait, it's daylight outside. Nothing is spooky in the daylight. But when the sun goes down on Saturday, starting at 7 p.m., people will be able to come out, right? Yeah, every Friday and Saturday following this Saturday. Okay, perfect. So we're in historic Folsom inside the square. And if you've walked around here before and seen the historic sites, well, now you get to see it come alive just a little bit or come... <laughs> Yeah, yeah, basically from back from the grave. <laughs> so some real life zombies, I guess, if you could call it that way. All right, I'm gonna enjoy some human stew and I'll be back with you guys in just a bit. If you if you weren't aware before, real life history uh -huh. is terrifying. Yeah. The cholera outbreak, the agricultural accident. And <laughs> that wow. actually is more scary than yeah. like the fake haunted house. Yeah. Creepy.